Welcome to the 20th episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. Wow, 20 episodes in and we're still at the letter B. <laughs> Only for a short while though, as today we're taking a look at the awesome title called Brutal Sports Football, developed by Teak, at least that's how I think it's pronounced, and published by Millennium in 1994. Brutal Sports Football is set in the not so distant future, where the sport of American football has degenerated into an extremely violent affair. Killing your opponent is not only accepted, it's actually a valid way to win the match. The players are not humans though, they are genetically engineered bipeds that you can bring back from the dead after each match, so you don't have to feel bad for them, I guess. The game is a strange mix of American football and handball. When the game starts, and whenever a goal has been scored, the ball is thrown up into the air in the middle of the playing area. Each team then tries to grab the ball and run towards the opponent's goal. If you're in possession of the ball, you'll be running down the playing field, trying to avoid the opponent's players and passing the ball to your teammates. You pass the ball on one button and kick the ball on the other. The kick is used to send the ball far away, so you mainly use it to get the ball away when you've got no one to pass it on to, or when you intercept the ball in front of your own goal and you just want to get rid of it. You can score a goal using the kick button, but it's rather hard to do, so normally you'll either run all the way into the goal or you'll use the pass button when you're really close. When your opponents are in possession of the ball, you'll be frantically attempting to stop them by throwing yourself at them. One of the buttons on your controller sends the active player into a dive trying to tackle another player, while another button either punches the opponent if you're close enough or uses the item that your player is holding, for example a sword. This is where the violence kicks in. If you do it right, you can decapitate the opposing player, and if you decapitate enough, you'll win the match regardless of the score. The game contains a lot of power-ups that you can pick up and use to decimate your opponents. There are swords, shields, power gloves, lightning bolts, bombs, and the fantastic hair power-up that makes you run faster. Just have a look at this page from the manual. These all make the game more fun to play. Except when they're used against you, of course. There's nothing as frustrating as watching all your players being frozen into ice cubes while the opposing forces rush down the playing field against your goal. The game has different modes, but the main mode is the league. Each league contains four teams and you play six matches before progressing to the next league. If you win, of course. You'll start off in the fourth league and here the game is rather easy. In fact, it's a tad bit too easy, but that's remedied in later leagues. As with any sports game, it's definitely the most fun when you have to fight for your victories. And I really had some fun matches in Brutal Sports Football, where I was yelling at my TV and only barely won in the last second of the match. I almost enjoyed it as much as Sensible Soccer, and that's high praise when coming from me. But let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about Brutal Sports Football. Amiga Format awarded the CD32 version an 81% score, writing that a sideways scrawling orgy of tongue-in-cheek, bone-crunching, limp-tearing violence. Brutal football is one heck of a rumble. The scrawling is a tad jerky and it can be difficult to follow the ball at times, but it's great fun, particularly when you get to stab your opponent with a large sword. The One gave the CD32 version an 82% score. In their review of the original, which they gave 88%, they write It's lovely to be able to play a game where you don't get sent off every time you hack someone down let alone hacking their heads off. The game may look as though it could get repetitive, but there are enough icons and different moves available to keep you happy for ages and ages. Most of the other magazines gave the game similar scores, and it all suits perfectly with how I feel about the game. I loved experiencing Brutal Sports Football for the first time, and this is definitely a game that will be put on my trusty old CD32 when I get a few friends over for some retro gaming fun. Even without two players though, Brutal is a barrel of laughs, so I award this game a 4 out of 5 score. It's not the perfect game, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> 